Hello, Arm Arweed here, and this morning I'm going to teach you about the different kinds of paraphernalia that you can use to smoke flour. In front of me, I have the most popular types of glass that people use to smoke flour. Some of them use water, some of them don't, some of them are easier to carry in your pocket, others aren't. Um, we'll start with like the most portable and then work our way over to the ones that use water. Uh, the one that I find the most portable and the most convenient for smoking on the go, whether it's at the disc golf course, um, hiking, or even just like walking around town if I don't have a joint or a vape pen, uh, is a chillum. These are just straight tubes of glass. They've got a bowl in the front and then basically just a straight tube where the smoke and the resin all goes straight into your mouth. You can smoke them like a cigarette or some people put the two, them between their pointer finger and their middle finger like this, and then make uh, like a seal and essentially just carve it with their hands. These come in a variety of different sizes. I've seen bigger ones, I've seen smaller ones than this, bigger bowl pieces. Great for personals, not great for passing around. Next we have a steamroller. These are just straight tubes of glass, uh, much like the plastic hamster tubes that you would have seen as kids or that are still sold at Petco that your hamster could scroll through, scroll through. I've seen some of these which that are just absolutely massive and then others that are like super unique like this. Uh, this has a full female anatomy on it. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite steamrollers that I've ever smoked out of. The bowl pieces vary in size, usually in relation to the size of the rest of the glass. So the bigger steamrollers, great for passing around. These fit in your pocket, but not nearly as well as a chillum. Then we have a pipe. Um, these come in a variety of different styles. You can get ones that look like hammers, like this. There's spoons, there's sidecars, um, there's Sherlock's that are shaped exactly like a type of pipe that like Sherlock Holmes would use. The bowls vary in size on these as well. Uh, I like a pipe with a bigger, deeper bowl because I can pack more weed in there. Uh, these are also great at preserving your flowers so they don't they don't burn it as fast as say like a bong or a bubbler where you're pulling through water and you can pull extra hard. Uh, prices on these three vary anywhere from like seven to eight bucks to thousands to hundred or hundreds of dollars depending on the style and the print. I've got a couple different ones of these. Um, I've got a Sherlock style and then I have this hammer one and then somewhere like lost in a bag. I think I have a spoon too. But these are great, um, great for on the go, great for taking the parties, great for just like hanging out at home, set it on a coffee table, take rips during the game today. Next we have a bubbler. Uh, these use water and I left this one dirty on purpose so you can see where the water line usually goes. You don't fill the whole thing up with water, but how it works is your weed goes in the top and then the smoke gets pulled down through the water and the water sort of filters it a little bit and then it comes back up through the bubbles and into your mouth. These, like pipes, like chillums, like even bongs, um, come in a variety of different sizes and styles as well as price points. Um, this is one, uh, a Nucleus, I believe Dankstop sent me this a couple years ago, can't remember. But these are great, not portable because of the water. I have seen like, um, inline perks style or natural perks where the artist just puts like a bend in there that forms a percolator instead of a normal perk. These are great. The smoke makes your weed a little bit less harsh, but you can take big and you can take bigger hits, which is also nice. Then we have one of my all time favorites. Uh, this is a bong. Normally there's a down stem and a bull piece in there, but that is currently soaking in ISO still so that it can be clean. Uh, bull pieces, down stems, all vary in relation to the size of your bong. You can get bull pieces that have like a bubbler attached. So imagine like you have a percolator here where your water is and then your bull piece comes out and you have another percolator or even like an ash catcher that filters the water and keeps like this part a lot cleaner than, than what it is. Bongs come in all different sizes, all different styles. You can get acrylic, which are like plastic almost. You can get ceramic. You can get short little stubby guys. I My first bong was probably like that tall. It was glass, red, green, yellow, orange, like a bunch of different random, like bright, vibrant colors. 
And I've always had bongs that were like three to four feet tall. So they vary in size. The bigger ones, obviously harder to or have a harder time hitting, but you can take a much bigger rip. A lot of times you also get bongs that have like ice catchers in them. So you can put ice cubes in there all in the snow. I tend to put snow in mine. It makes my smoke filter nice and cool. Uh, but anyways, these are the different types of glass that you can smoke your flower out of. There's also different types of glass like dab rigs for smoking dabs. Um, I've seen nectar collectors made out of glass. They make glass blunts. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those anymore. Uh, this is what I have. These are the most popular types. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let me know what your favorite type is in the comments. Maybe even show if you can submit pictures and comments and, at all on YouTube. I'm not sure if that's a possibility. Let me know what you got. If you got something cool, send me a link somewhere I can find it. And thanks for watching.